Hey everyone, this is Grace and hope you've been well. I am here to share with you my um, projects for this week's Christmas in July with Gracie21. So I know some of you have been mentioning no house mouse, given the fact that I have a whole slew of Christmas house mouse stamps. And so what I did was I thought, you know what, this is the week. I pulled out two of my house mouse Christmas stamps, and as you can see, I like the wooden stamps, so picked this up, and this is actually quite a good size so that it fits one of those Michaels cardstocks, um, you know, the five and a half by four, no, wait, five and a quarter by four and a half cards, and so, um, yeah, let me show you what I did, hold on. All right, so um, as you can see, what I did was I stamped them out, cut them down, trimmed them, and then um, colored them, of course, and then double-sided taped them down to the card. And on the inside, um, I have wishing you and yours a blessed Christmas and a happy new year. That actually is from this, Joyful Phrases and Expressions. Where is that? entire hold on this is what that comes from so yeah so I made two Christmas cards I actually had stamped out you guys you probably know by now if you don't know you've you're gonna find out now that when I stamp I usually like to just stamp one page worth and as you can see I didn't have much time to do the rest but can I just say it does take some time those of you who've colored these guys you know it takes a little bit of time to color them and um, I know some of these mice are gray and I've gone on record saying I have yet to perfect the gray color so all of my little mouse mice actually are brown <laughs> for the time being but anyway so um, some of you may actually want to know what they're called huh so this one is called Christmas Story. Hold on. All right, so this is Christmas Story and this is Deck the Halls. Okay, and so what I did was I just used my Ebu coloring um, pencils and, did the, you know, color two shades. You can't really see it, but I shaded it a little bit in pink here. Did a little bit of gray shading. And those of you who've worked with house mouse stamps, when you use color pencils, they're actually quite easy to color. So, um, yeah. And then just colored that. And then what I wanted to do was, I, I thought about, should I keep it simple? But I thought, you know what? It's Christmas. It needs a little glitz. So remember these pine stickles that I had purchased from Tuesday morning? For the purpose of using them here and I got this idea from Candy so Candy Tiggs thank you very much for this I think it was Candy who gave me this idea of putting some glitter on fur I mean not fur <laughs> pine it is pine fur isn't it F-I-R instead of F-U-R I don't know my brain's a little tired I know and it's only Monday morning ah Anyway, so um, colored the little um, pine sprig in two shades of green, and then I went over it with this. And so I get, I think it gives it like a nice little pop, as you can see here, a little bit of shine. And then the inside you saw. And then what I did with this one is I colored this initially yellow, but it just didn't, I mean gray, but it just didn't pop as much. So what I did was I went back over it with a light yellow, and then I colored this kind of a beige yellow, so it kind of matches. And then because it's Christmas, I wanted the binding to be red. And then what I did was I took one of my glitter gel pens and then traced over the night before Christmas to give it a little bit of pop. So if it hits it just right, you'll see it shine a glimmer a little bit. And then did two shades of green here as well, just so that it, you know, looks a little bit more, um, I guess, authentic or real. And then what I did was I took the same stickles and then uh, traced it over the um, Christmas lights just to make it stand out from the rest of this because the green, I had colored it green, it was, you know, blending in with the... Um, tree and then what I did was I played around with this um, this is something from Dollar Tree that I had and I squirted a bunch here 
And I don't know if it's just old or what, but I, I will say, you can't see it, huh? Let me zoom in on here. I will say that it came out kind of like a um, gel, so it still dries. So maybe if I mush it around, it'll be less jelly. But anyway, I thought it would be, I, I'm sure once it dries, it'll be nice. And now I've got glitter on my fingers. <laughs> Anyway, so these are my two projects for this week, House Mouse. Um, I finally did get around to, whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry. Little Furball is here. I'm trying to keep him away from the ants. So, I know. What a cute little foot, huh? Anyway, so this is it. I hope you enjoyed. Um, down in the description bar will be a list of the other women who are um, taking part in this Christmas in July with Gracie 21 collab. I hope you get a chance to check them out, see what new ideas or you know creative things they're doing. Perhaps it'll give you guys some ideas. And I hope you guys like this too. I have to admit, I do like the use of just that little bit of something. So... I've been trying in each of my cards to have something that pops. And so in this card, it's the little stickles and the glitter that pops. So, And then along with this, hold on. You guys know I like to create kind of decorative envelopes. So what I did was I just washi taped an envelope and I used this from the Dollar Tree. So, yep. Anyway, that is my project or two projects for Christmas in July today. I hope you guys enjoyed and I know Bentley's scratching. Poor little thing. Um, he is healing so for those of you who are concerned he is healing. Um, I've taken him off Benadryl so um, just the antibiotics now just going through the whole um, term but anyway um, make sure you like and like and subscribe and actually leave a comment would you because in the last week of the collab, I'm actually going to go through, I know this is like such a long thing, but I'm going to go through and check who's been leaving comments and um, prepare a little um, gift packet of Christmas cards. So um, these will be included in there and then one of each of the ones that I've um, you know, created in the past weeks will also be in there as well. So I hope you guys like. I always enjoy having like a nice stack of handmade cards to use. So anyway, I've rambled on long enough. Take care and um, stay tuned because later today, Jackie, Lady J um, Crafty 2016 and I are going to be doing a one-time collab featuring um, Jamie of Not Too Shabby Shop. Um, a stamp set that she has sent us. So um, I hope you guys enjoy seeing what we create with that. And yeah, so I think that's it. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Bye.